Hello, welcome to Afro News South Africa. Please kindly subscribe and share. Turn the notification on so you would be notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you all, dear Lindu Sisulu. I write this letter as a comprehensive response to the various opinion pieces you have written and speeches and statements you have made in the past six months. In your recent keynote address at the University of South African and in your now infamous opinion piece titled Heim Zansi. Have we seen justice? You were right to highlight the shameful persistence of poverty and widening inequality, the shameful betrayal of politicians, and the need for us to reevaluate the economic relations which produce mass destitution in the first place. But let's be honest, since its ascension to government, the ANC, like yourself, is infamous for talking left, but walking in every other direction. Unsurprisingly, your arguments have provoked intense, but necessary, critique. Admittedly, a portion of those criticisms reflect the biases of a commentariat infatuated with liberal capitalist democracy, unwilling to entertain ideas which diverge from political and economic orthodoxy. So, I would like to engage with your ideas on your own ideological grounds and in good faith. It is not the soundness of your arguments, or the righteousness of the causes you purport to support, that most South Africans question. It is the integrity of your political ambitions and the alignment of your material interests that deserve intense scrutiny. In other words, do you wield power towards the ends of justice for the destitute and vulnerable? Or, like most of the political elite, do you utilize power for self-enrichment and career advancement in service of this dysfunctional status quo? It might seem odd that I refer to you as a political elite. But remember that you are an individual with an enormous salary, accompanied by stunningly generous benefits, in a country where 50% of the population is poor. And, importantly, you are part of a tiny minority of individuals who construct, mold and implement policy and legislation that impacts the life outcomes of millions. The power you wield and the privilege you possess, compared to that of most citizens, is immense. Moreover, your lead position depends on the ANC maintaining the political and economic relations through which it has sustained its electoral dominance up until now. I'm not a politician or prominent public figure, so my opinion may be of little consequence to you. However, I am one of the many South Africans who are exhausted by the daunting task of living in our country. A South Africa that has decayed and devolved into a Habesian nightmare, where existence for most is short, brutal and poor. It is in the context of the country's general collapse, and the prevalence of despair, that the complicity of politicians in the nation's demise, cannot be overlooked or understated. I cannot speak in the place of other citizens, but my assessment is that, like many influential members of the ANC who have held executive positions of power, you are a part of what Franz Fanon once called the national bourgeoisie, a class of political elites who rule not to advance positive freedom or secure material well-being for their people, but a class of leaders who live for themselves and cut themselves off from the people. As an accomplished academic and self-proclaimed pan-Africanist, I don't doubt that you are familiar with the enduring analysis of Fanon. His description of post-colonial liberation movements, once in power, is both